many of y'all have ever had a night to where you just tossed and turned and could not go to sleep, could not turn the mind off, could not rest? The other night, I was in that position, and I just tried my best to quiet myself. And in that time, I heard the Lord speak to me in my spirit. And he asked me, where on earth does man keep his most treasured and prized possessions? I thought for a minute and I said, well, treasures like silver and gold and jewelry and diamonds, a lot of times are kept locked away, out of sight, perhaps with security and a guard. God said, yes, like man, my most prized possessions are two kept locked away, out of sight, behind locked doors. At that time, I looked up and I saw Jesus standing in front of what seemed like thousands of prisons and jails. God walked up to those doors, and with one key, he unlocked every single door, and the gates began to swing open. Jesus stepped in, and as the inmates were surrounding him, he reached out and he touched certain inmates. And all of a sudden, an overwhelming golden glow enveloped them. God looked at me and he said, there's my gold. Jesus continued and he touched others. And this brilliant, shining silver overwhelmed me as I looked at them. And God looked at me and said, there's my silver. As I was watching, I was amazed as these inmates seemed to grow into mighty warriors. They were covered with the complete armor of God. Every single piece was made of pure gold. Even the shields they carried. I was looking into that shield and I heard God tell them, Go, take what Satan has taught you and use against him. Go into the churches and break down the strongholds that he has there. Go into the families and break down the walls of destruction in my homes. I saw these warriors step over the walls of prison as they went right out into the front line of warfare with Satan himself. As I'm watching this, I'm amazed because no one knew who these people were. They went right through the churches, and the churches were going, who is this? And I had to kind of not laugh, but smile as I saw him battle these warriors with Satan himself, and little demons would run off and tremble. They try to hide, but yet nowhere to hide. The churches welcomed these warriors into them, and there was great rejoicing. And they wondered, who are these people? As they began to look under the golden armor, they saw the people that no one wanted to know. The rejects of society, the homeless street people, the dejected and poor. God said to me, if my people want to know where they are needed, tell them they're needed in the streets, the hospitals, the missions, and the prisons. For if they join me there, they will see me in my next, the spirit move. This story was actually written by a gentleman called Bill Yaunt, and it's called Treasures in Prison Cells. And we wanted to bring that to y'all, as long with the band, just to give y'all a little taste of what we do in prison ministry. My husband and I uh, lead Please Prison Ministry, and we wanted to just thank you from the bottom of our hearts for your support and your prayers as we continue to walk in that and lift up this great band here behind me because they go right in to the front rows of Satan and bring their music to touch others. And one other thing that hit me when I read this story is that we all tend at times to put ourselves in our own little prison. And we need to just stop and be still and feel the presence of God reaching out to us with the one key that sets us all free. Thank you again.